Right, so first thing, spark plug. This is one that I've cut the crimp off of a while ago to do a plug chop for tuning. So I'm gonna use this one, but if you haven't done it already, it's very simple, just cut the crimp off of around the porcelain. And you can see it's the little raised section at the end. This one hasn't got it. Cut that off and then you can take the plug apart. I wanna clean inside here. We'll use a cotton bud and some alcohol. So that way the epoxy that we're gonna use is uh, gonna stick. It's pretty clean anyway, to be honest. It's not bad, but uh, there is some dirt in there from the combustion up the top. And we'll do the same with the wire. This is just some normal steel wire. It's nothing special. It doesn't need to be, I don't think. I'm gonna heat the machine up with another plug. Once it's really good and hot, I'm gonna stick this one in. I'm gonna find out where it's running, lean it out, reach it out, and just see the change and see how the sound of the engine reacts. I'm not gonna start it up and run it for 10 minutes with it in. It, that's not the intention here. Let's start off with a little bit of tape first. So that goes on top there. Now we'll make a, a little hole. We'll feed this through. Like that. It's gonna be quite hard to see, but let me try. Now we need to work quite quickly with this, so. Drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mix it up. Looks a bit yellow. It does say crystal clear. Uh, hmm. Well, here it is. It took me about three or four attempts to get it right. And you can even see now the epoxy is still not as clear as I'd like. But uh, anyway, we're gonna stick with it. I just wanna see if now we can actually get a spark. It's just a piece of steel and another piece of steel. So it should work. I've got a little model hit and miss engine. I'm gonna connect you up to that up there or connect this up to that up there. And then I'll see if I can get some spark. For me, it's bright blue for you. <laughs> there it is. So this is how it's going to appear to us. Now that's white. That's a fairly white colour. And it kind of appears a bit, obviously, a bit orange through there. But I guess if I put something blue, if I put some tape on it, let's try that, because that should give me a blue light, even though it's going to be much brighter in the engine. Yeah, that kind of works. So that's blue now. Oh, yeah. There's two different brightnesses, because uh, I'm clicking it on and off. It cycles through different brightnesses. That's blue. Oh, yeah, certainly a different colour there. Perfect. All right. And now all that's left to do is to stick it in the machine and see how we go. I've got no idea. I'm going to try and run it lean. I'm going to try and run it rich. I'm going to go through the RPMs. Who knows how long this will last or even if it will last. But uh, hmm, we will see. Full throttle. Oh, first time.
I'm not sure how clear it is now. It's kind of late in the day. Sadly, the color tune plug, yeah. Even just those, it was about 60 seconds before it started to, well, that's how long I ran it for, 60 seconds. And then that's when I taken it out and that's kind of what it is. I leaned it out, I richened it out. I went from idle and full throttle and I couldn't get it to change that blue color. So to say that it's, it's running optimally, which is kind of like between orange and blue for a two stroke. But uh, yeah, let's go inside and have a bit of a think about it. It's many hours later now, uh, and what's nine o'clock, 9.30. And I've been thinking about this throughout the last three or four hours. And I thought, well, maybe because I had burnt the, the epoxy slightly and it's kind of gone slightly orange. That's why I wasn't getting the change in color as it was going leaner. Uh, well, at the moment, we can recap. So that is the white light, which looks orange. I mean, the thing is blue. I don't know, you'd think blue would be clearer than red, and that's blue. Yeah, you see, that looks orange too, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't really. No, they are, they're set now, they're set in different colors. There's no even. There's orange, there's blue. It looks like it's a similar sort of color on the camera, but it's, it certainly to my eye looks, that looks green to be fair, that looks green. So in summary, it was fun, I enjoyed it. Actually, the fact that it even worked, right? The fact that this even ran that engine and the fact that we could see so clearly, especially when that machine was revving hard, just how uh, bright this plug was, was amazing. Is it a replacement for the original, genuine color tune? No, I don't think so. No. Um, but it was a fun experiment nonetheless. Hey, give it a go yourself. Maybe if you guys do it, use a clear... This is meant to be crystal clear epoxy. And of course now it's burnt, but even beforehand it wasn't. So maybe if I put much less epoxy in there and I only gave it like, what, a quarter of an inch, it should still be strong enough to hold. And it might stay cleaner for longer. Maybe if I used motor mix, which is a much cleaner burning, it's an alkalite fuel, that would have helped. I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, all I do know is it was fun. It was cool to see. And uh, yeah, I hope you got this far. And if you did, thank you very much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.